Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 28th video in the series and today we will learn about lambda expressions which are also known as anonymous functions. We will first go over the difference between lambda expressions and functions. Then we will write lambda expressions that have a different number of parameters. Finally, we will use lambda expressions to sort lists. The timestamps are in the description below, so let's get started. A lambda expression is like a function, but it's one line and you don't need to name it like you name a function. I created a file called lambda.py and we're going to review a function here and compare it with the lambda expression. I'm going to create a function called f and it will have one parameter x. Then I'm just going to return 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then I can call and run this function by printing f of 2. So it will plug 2 in for all the x. So I can run this here and I will get 49. So this function took two lines but I can use lambda instead and do it in one line. All I need to do is do lambda, then the parameters, I just have one here, which is x, then a colon, then finally the expression, which is the same above. So it will work the same as above, but I should probably store it somewhere. So I'll store it inside the variable a. So now if I were to print a of 2, I would get the same answer as before. And I'll run it here, and you'll see I will get the same answer, 49. And that's the overview of the difference between a function and a lambda. Now let's create lambda expressions with a different number of parameters. I created a file called lambda with different number of parameters.py. A lambda expression can take any number of parameters, including zero. But it's important to note that it can only have one expression at the end after the colon. Unlike a function, you can have multiple lines. You can only have one when you use lambda. I'm going to create a lambda expression that has no parameters, so I'll just do the colon. After it, it will just say hello world. So I'm going to assign this the hello world variable. And now if I were to print hello world and then open and close parentheses, this would say hello world. And I run this and in fact it does say hello world. We can also create a lambda expression with multiple parameters. I'm going to ask the user to input their first name and last name. And then I'm going to create a lambda expression called full name. And set that equal to lambda. And have two parameters, the first name and the last name. And I'll separate them with a comma. And then I'll have the colon, and then I'll concatenate the first name and the last name by just doing first name dot strip, and this removes any white space, and then I'll do dot title. So this will just capitalize the first letter and the first name and make everything else lowercase. Then I'll add a space in between the first and last name. Then I will repeat what I did for the first name for the last name. And then finally, I will print full name and then pass in the two parameters, first name and last name. And now when I run this, it should ask me for my first name. My first name is Jonathan, but let's say I mess up the case and last name car, but let's say I do lowercase then uppercase. And then it's going to say hello world. Then it's going to capitalize my first name and last name. And there you have it. That's how to use lambda expressions with a different number of parameters. Now let's use lambda to sort lists. I created a file called lambda sort list.py and created a list of students. Now I want to sort this by the last initial and I can use lambda for this. I can do students.sort then set the key equal to lambda and the one parameter name and then I'm gonna want to split the name whenever there is a space so I'll do name dot split and a blank space so this will separate their first name from the last initial 
and then I'll enter negative 1 because I want to sort it by the last initial. Then I'll just do dot lower and then open and close parentheses in case the letters of some students' last names were lowercase and others were capitalized. This would eliminate a potential error. Then I can just print students. And now when I run this program, it will be sorted by the last initial. And there you have it. That's how to use Lambda to sort lists. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.